Top 10 wide receivers in Madden 24 Ultimate Team as of June 7th. Starting at number 10, we've got Golden Ticket Justin Jefferson. You guys might be surprised why he's a bit lower on this list than you expect because he's got 90 nets across the board. He's got a good solid height at 6'1". I don't really believe a lot in the taller receivers. And he gets route condition in either jukebox or evasive for 0 AP. So he's just pretty much a perfect meta receiver for Madden 24. The problem with Justin Jefferson cards, and it's like this also with Julio Jones if you use these throughout the year, they get hitches in their routes. It's rare, but it does happen, and it could win or lose you a game, especially on corner routes and post routes. His just route running, I don't know if it's his player model alongside Julio Jones, uh, they'll just hitch randomly. So at the highest of high levels, uh, Jeff Jeff Justin Jefferson as well as Julio are not really rated amongst the top players because of that hitch when he does run routes. But again, that's a very rare occurrence, so if you just want to run Justin Jefferson... He's still an all-around great receiver. At number nine, we've got one of the only taller receivers I have on this list, and he has a unique stack. Uh, again, 99 speed. He is 6'5", Vincent Jackson is, so very, very tall. Does not get evasive or jukebox for zero people, but does get rock condition for zero people. The ability and why I have him in the top 10 is tank. You know, with all the avalanches out there on the field, especially at defensive back now, having tank is actually a really underrated ability, uh, you know, for breaking, not only breaking hit sticks, but just kind of not fumbling from those hit sticks so i know a bit weird card doesn't get the most meta abilities but having tank he's like one of the only cards at receiver that gets tank for zero ap so solid card vince jackson comes in at number nine but at number eight we just have a little bit better version than vincent jackson in the form of ed to tall jones he is your hey if you want a tall receiver this is your guy wait at 271 so we again not gonna be able to juke 97 speed is a tad bit slow but ability wise red zone threat for zero ap you could also get that tank for zero AP, and then you choose between pretty much route technician or evasive for zero AP on top of the or you can just not go tank and go route technician and evasive. But again, Ed Two Tall Jones is your prototypical super tall receiver in Madden 24. So if height is your thing, he is your man. Coming in at number seven, we've got Crucible Greg Jennings. Really, the only thing holding this card back from being higher on this ranking is his speed at only 97. I know you could boost it pretty easily, but you know, for this video, it's stock at 97. Jukebox built on for 0 AP, and then of course you get, I think, three other 0 AP abilities. I would combo them up with Route Technician, uh, maybe a slot o or, or Deep In, Deep Out Elite, uh, then maybe Human Joystick, or Grab and Go. Overall, though, pretty solid receiver. Again, that speed is the only thing holding it back from probably being in the top five, the top four receivers. One of my personal favorite receivers now at number six, and this is the Blur Brother, aka Jalen Waddle. 99 speed stock, 5'10", so very, very short, but that's kind of how I like my receivers this year, man, to be able to avoid those KOs. I think anything really above 6'2", unless you have a crazy ability stack, uh, in my opinion, is unusable. He's going to get jukebox built on for 0 AP, and then you also can throw on there human joystick, route technician, and I think wide receiver apprentice, again, all for 0 AP. Another thing with Jalen Waddle, if you combine him with the Tyreek Hill Blur Brother, you can just pretty much add what plus one speed to any position in the game. So we add some very good just squad, uh, you know, abilities, squad boosting abilities on Jalen Waddle. Uh, still right now, I think is currently my wide receiver three on my team. Love this card, and he's at number six. Cracking the top five is going to be the highest golden ticket on this list, and that is DK Metcalf, 6'3". So not my perfect height, in my opinion, a little bit tall, but 99 speed stock. The reason though DK Metcalf has made the top five is for one ability and one ability only. He is going to get, I believe, route technician uh, and evasive for zero AP. So he gets that normal, you know, meta wide receiver ability stack, but he gets honorary lineman for one AP. He is one, I think, of only two wide receivers in the entire game to get that ability. So if you are a runner or someone just likes to throw a lot of RPOs, if you have the AP space, especially with all these quarterbacks that are so little, you probably do. DK Metcalf should probably be on your field as your primary blocker. Uh, again, there's a receiver later on this list that also gets that ability, but DK Metcalf was the first wide receiver to get honorary lineman, although it is for 1 AP. Now at number four, we have got the House Rules Odell Beckham Jr. A very, very cool card. It does take a bit of grinding, but 99 speed. He's going to get all 32 team comes through school. Evasive built on for 0 AP, and then he gets a slew of other abilities that include route technician, a runoff elite, which is very unique to him for zero AP. You could also get wider super apprentice or one other ability like red zone threat, human joystick, OBJ, and again, height also at 5'11. That is like the picture perfect height, in my opinion, for a receiver. Also wears number 13 in game. If you were curious, little things like that matter to me, uh, you know, from when he played on the Giants. But OBJ, top five uh, all around receiver, also gives those like boosts, the, the theme team all star boost 
uh, which is vital if you want to like build up your theme team, stuff like that. So OBJ, clear cut, I think unanimously people would say he is easily a top five receiver right now in but 24. But now getting into the top three, and I think these three receivers are just on another tier um, from everyone. The only reason I actually don't have CD Lamb on my team right now is I don't have the AP to be able to run this certain ability that, well, all three receivers do have. So CD Lamb, I uh, just released in Mutt yesterday, 99 speed stock, 6'2", so a little bit tall, but I think I could I can manage 6'2". Route Technician built on the card, and then he's going to get four other 0 AP abilities, or three other 0 AP abilities, and then the one AP ability, which I wish was 0 AP, is Yak Him Up. Now, Rack Him Up actually on the card, you know, Tongue Twister is 0 AP, but Rack Him Up really doesn't do anything. Uh, but Yak Him Up is the ability you're going to want, but it is 1 AP on CD Lame, and of course, you're going to get Rack Technician for 0, can get Evasive, uh, Human Joystick, any other receiver ability you want on CD Lame, he can get. If he had plus 4 impact blocking, he'd be able to get honorary alignment, but it is stuck at 81. Does not hit the 85 stat threshold needed for that, but CD Lamb, uh, I think easily a top 3 receiver. I thought he was actually going to be number 1 after seeing his card originally. I thought Yak him Up, though, was 0 AP, but CD Lamb, uh, clear cut, top 3 receiver in the game. I think everyone could use him on your squad. Now, moving on to number 2, we've got Ultimate Legend Marvin Harrison Sr., a very, very comparable card to CD Lamb. Minus 1 speed at 98, but I don't really too much put too much stock into that really the reason why marvin harrison jr is higher than cd lamb is height it's just that simple cd lamb is 6'2 marvin harrison is six foot he's going to get better possession catch animations and that is probably the most important thing in the game right now he is also he's the he's the founding father of the yakim up ability for one ap uh, again get him on your team for rpos and also like yak him up while it's a break first tackle ability it also like gives you more security in running into avalanches because unless they have enforcer supreme they're gonna break that first tackle no matter what so it almost acts as a standalone tank type of thing standalone bruiser where you're just like you don't have to worry about avalanche as much but armor Harrison again six foot uh route condition can also get evasive and then that yak him up ability for one ap again reason why he's above cd lamb and is at number two is the six foot height i think is a more ideal height for receiver rather than six two once again, I think everybody knew who number one was going to be on this list. We've got the offspring of number two on this list in Marvin Harrison Jr. Just released in Madden 24 on Thursday, the Divisional Dynasty content. Albeit, he's a pretty expensive card. Uh, you know, easily over, I think, 1.5 mil, at least when I bought him. He is going to get, this is what golden tickets should have been. He is going to get, I believe, six zero AP abilities, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 99 speed in the card. Really, the only negative thing about this card, in my opinion, is the height. He is 6'4". He is a little bit tall, but he definitely doesn't have a super bulky player model in-game. Uh, I only played one game with him, and he actually dropped, like, three touchdowns. Something ridiculous. Uh, but built onto the card, he's going to get route condition for 0 AP. Evasive for 0 AP. Tank for 0 AP, so you don't have to worry about as much. Those avalanche hit sticks, and then in the last ability bucket, and this is what makes this card, I think there's not going to be a card probably like this for the entire year. Yak him up for 0 AP. He actually gets another few unique abilities. Gets Truz for 1 AP. So if you really don't want to fumble from hit sticks, put, put on Truz. And then he also, I think, gets... Uh, I forgot what the other ability is. Uh, you guys will see it probably in this clip. But uh, Yak him up for 1 AP. I feel like you gotta use that on the card. And then you could also, I think, throw on... Like I mentioned earlier in this video, I hinted at it. Honorary lineman for 0 AP. One of only two receivers to get honorary lineman in the entire game. And the only receiver to get it for 0 AP in the game. They gave him 99 impact blocking. Uh, he's, again, just an all-around. He is a golden ticket, essentially. So it's awesome to see get put into Mutt. And he is the clear-cut wide receiver one. If you have the coins, get this man on your squad. Because he will take over game. So now remembering, it's double me. Double me, not bad. It's just everyone has KOs. And now, especially with universal coverages everywhere in the field uh you know even if they're in man coverage they're bound to probably have a man or so knockout but maserati marv comes in at number one uh, and i don't i don't know if there's a receiver that's going to knock him off that pedestal for the rest of the year but let me know down in the comments uh your thoughts on this top 10 am i missing any honestly there's a few receivers i would like to throw on here Amon ross st brown in my opinion is really really good really the top 10 i would say like the top five are like in a tier above and like the last four i like to put a lot of niche players that might not be really truly the best that i would use but they fill a certain role in the meta right like super tall and super good at blocking you know maybe they have like an angry runs ability or a certain certain ability 
that a player not normally has. And so that's why I throw them in number nine or number 10. But that's all for this video. Comment if you have any complaints or uh, any players I should have put on this list. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you are new, and until next time, peace.